Hi guys, we are um, stranded here on a beach, literally in, uh, in Goa. And um, I thought I'd uh, record a practice for you at home while you're at home that can give you some vibrancy and some aliveness in the body and at the same time um, also give you some ground and some uh, stability in these turbulent times. As um, the great teacher, Mr. BKS Wayengar, he, he already stated, um, a stable mind is like the hub of a wheel. The world may spin around you, but the mind stays steady. And that's what we really want, um, to uh, stay grounded and centered. So um, enjoy your practice. It's going to be about half an hour, maybe a little longer. And um, have fun. Come to sit in a position that for you is um, stable. So cross-legged position, any cross-legged position where you can lengthen the back of the body. Just come to sit for a moment and begin to feel your breath. And begin to start with the breath and make it an even breath. The in-breath as long as the out-breath. Slowly from the belly begin to inhale. Two, three four and then let the breath sink down the spine all the way down towards the sit bones again and then keep that going for a couple of rounds inhaling filling up the lungs and exhale three four letting go and releasing inhale expanding to the chest a little bit and then a slow and deep exhale releasing the breath down the back of the body all the way into the earth Inhaling again, just expanding and lifting. And as you exhale, just feel the sensations of letting go when you're breathing out. Now the next inhale, just slowly bring the hands towards the ears, kind of cupping the hands a little bit away from the ears. And as you exhale, just simply feel the mental waves in the palms of your hands, holding them. On the next inhale, begin to bring the hands together in front of your face. And as you exhale, lower them down in front of the heart. Inhale again, bring the hands towards the ears. Exhale out, just feel. Inhale, prayer in front of third eye. And then slowly exhaling, lower the prayer down towards the center line. Inhale again, bring the hands towards the ears. And then as you exhale, just feel those mental vibrations in your hand. On the next inhale, just bring those mental vibrations in front of you and hold them in front of the third eye and then lower them down towards the heart. Exhale out. Inhale, hands to ears. Exhale out, just feel. Inhale, prayer to third eye. Exhale, lower prayer towards the heart. Centering. One more round. Inhaling, hands to ears. Exhale out, just feel. Inhale, prayer to third eye. And as you exhale, lower the prayer down towards the heart center. Just stay for a moment. If there's any intention you'd like to set for your little practice, this, this would be a good moment. Do one ohm all together, exhaling, empty out. Slow and deep breaths in. Add to the heart. Release the hands down in front of you. Let me organize my mat a little bit. It's kind of windy here. And then make sure your feet are under your knees. Take Sukhasana, easy pose. And then walk the hands in front of you as you lengthen the back of your body. Just gently draw forward. Keep your sit bones grounded and just come forward to your extent. It doesn't have to be all the way down. If you can't get your elbows towards the ground, that's fine. And otherwise, stay on the hands, soften the neck and the head. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, just find some space, maybe even to sink a little lower. Inhale. 
Exhale. And slowly, gently rise up again. And then organize yourself. Um, let's see. In a position of all fours, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. And then begin to simply just move your hips a little bit in a way that your body likes. So it could be small circles, it could be a bigger circles or eight forms. You could draw your hips down towards your heels if you like. All the way forward maybe into a cobra shape. Stretch the front body. Take a little time just to find the direction that your body wants you to go. Really find your way in, you could say that. This is one of the most important things in yoga. Yoga is a feeling practice, so you really need to feel into the body and see and feel where some energy flow is needed. Coming back to all fours, drop your hips to your heels, come to child's pose. Inhale, slowly rise up, all fours. Exhale, tuck toes under and just gently lift your hips up to a downward facing dog. Keep your knees bent, lengthen out the spine. Inhale, knees back towards the ground. Exhale, hips to heels for child's pose. Inhale, gently rise up all the way to all fours. Exhale, tuck toes, lift hips, lengthen out the spine as you stretch your hips all the way up. Inhale, slowly bring the knees back down. Exhale, draw your hips down towards your heels. Hey, we got company. Inhale, slowly to rise. Exhale, tuck toes, lift hips and reach the hips up, lengthen out the spine. From here, begin to pedal out the feet one by one, stretching one leg and then the other. And you could also do straightening the right leg and straighten the left arm so you feel a diagonal stretch over the back of your body. And do it again on the other side, straighten the left leg and the right arm. Maybe a little twisting action in the upper body. Inhaling, come back to center, one more round each side. Inhale, exhale, press back. And inhale to center, straighten left leg and right arm. Now slowly from here, begin to walk your feet forward to the front of the mat. Arriving there at the front, fold forward, knees slowly bend. And just take your arms for a moment, dangle from side to side. The elbows, release the torso, the neck and the head. Blubber your lips a couple of times. Just soften there to the upper body gentle stretch over the back of the body from the heels to the crown. Release your arms and roll yourselves up to standing. Circle the arms overhead and stretch out long. Inhale. Exhale, bring the prayer back in front of your chest. Inhale. Raise the prayer up. Exhale, cross your thumbs and then just make a small circle towards your left and then over towards the right to the left and back and to the right and forward inhale to the left and back exhale to the right and forward and then reverse direction inhale exhale bend the knees if you turn keep it loose keep it relaxed inhale. stay grounded to the feet And the next time when you're all the way up, stay there. Release your arms, interlace the fingers behind your back. Stretch the front body up and open, lift the heart. Hands away from the lower back and just begin to lift your heels off the ground and find some balance. Inhale, exhale. Now gently lower your heels back towards the ground. Release your arms and then Kind of bending the knees when you turn from side to side into a palm tree pose. Drawing, letting the arms be the leverage to gently draw from side to side. 
And every time you turn to one side, you could breathe out like. Come back towards center. Just take your point right in the middle, center, and then stay still. Come to mountain pose. Let's organize the map. Still. Inhale, arms reach up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, fingertips to the ground, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift to a flat back. Exhale, step your right foot back and drop the right knee down to the ground. We're gonna do a little twist here, pressing the right palm down, bring the left hand to the inside of the left knee. You need to draw your right hip to the mat as you spin the chest open towards the left. Just begin to maybe push the knee slightly away from you. Take a Stretch in the front body, maybe even let the head fall back a little bit. Inhale. Exhale. And really feel that energy coming back in those places that feel tight, that feel a little stressed. And then come back to center. Place both hands either side of left foot and step back in downward facing dog. Keep knees bent as you lengthen out the spine. Inhale, come forward into a plank. Engage the core, zip up the belly. Exhale, knees and chest down towards the floor. Keep your butt up into the air, the elbows in. Point toes back, lower pubic bone and press it down as you lift halfway up into a baby cobra. Inhale, exhale. Slowly, gently press back. Hips to heels, child's pose. Inhale, rise up to all fours. Exhale, tuck toes, lift the hips up and back, straighten out, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg, breathe it up and back, stretch out. Exhale, step right foot forward into a lunge, ground down through your feet. Rise up, standing, arms forward and up. Exhale, elbows backward and down as you sink a little lower. Inhale to rise. Exhale, out through your mouth, breathing. Ocean breath, inhale, exhale, inhale, rising up, exhale, elbows backward and down, Just get a little thumb stretch going as you breathe out, one more round, inhale to rise, exhale, hands frame the right foot, step left foot forward, halfway lift to a flat back, exhale, forward fold, soften down, torso to the knees. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, prayer down in front of your chest. Keep that slow flow going. Prayer reaches gently up. Exhale, forward fold, touch the floor. Inhale, lengthen the spine, lift the heart. Exhale, step your left foot back and drop the left knee down. Press the left palm into your mat and then begin to move your right palm to the inside of the right knee. You could Turn out the right foot a little bit here, and then begin to draw your left hip down as you spin the chest open towards the right, and begin to stretch out through the front body, let the head fall back if you like. Enjoy a couple of breaths in this delicious twist. Well, I should say so it's kind of more like a front body stretch and a twist at the same time. Inhale, exhale. Slowly frame your right foot again. Step back into a downward facing dog and lengthen out the spine. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale lower down to the push up your way to knees or chaturanga. Inhale roll the chest forward and up, lift upward or baby cobra. Exhale downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Left foot, breathe it up. Step left foot forward into a lunge. Ground down to the feet, arms forward and up. Elbows backward and down, sink a little lower. Inhale to rise, straighten front leg. 
Exhale, ocean breathing, slowly coming down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, elbows backward and down, sink one, lever. Inhale, one more round. Exhale, hands frame the left foot. Right foot forward, halfway lift to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold, soften the neck and the head. Rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, prayer down in front of the chest. And take a little moment to find your center again. Right here in Samastitihi. Even breath, even body makes an even mind. This is what we want. We want the body to be vibrant, alive, and at the same time, we don't want to blow away in this turbulence that's around us right now. Stay centered and calm in the midst of that hurricane. Slowly rise the prayer up and overhead again. The hands to your ankles and bend your knees. Inhale, chest up, arms up. Exhale, sit down a little lower and draw the shoulder blades down the back. And let's go to the most one of the most grounding postures there is in yoga, which is Utkatasana or chair pose. Flex the feet towards your face. You can't see my feet right now because the mat is kind of blowing away. But my feet, my grounded feet, are holding that. Staying there for one more breath. Inhale, maybe sit a little deeper as you exhale. And then slowly rise up, straighten the legs, open chest, arch back. Exhale, deep down, forward fold, touch the floor. Stay there in Uttanasana as I organize my mat again. to keep the mat together and then as you inhale lengthen out the spine and then step or jump into a push-up bending your elbows close and in roll the chest forward and up lift the heart and as you exhale draw your chest draw your hips back to the downward facing inhale slowly take the right leg up and back into the air exhale now bend your right knee and open the hip Inhale, straighten the right leg back again, lift the heel up. Exhale, step the right foot forward with control in between the hands. Stay there in the low lunge for a moment and rise up to a crescent lunge. Inhale, exhale, shoulders down the back, sit a little deeper. Stay there and breathe, inhale. Exhale, now feel the grounding force of the legs pulling you down, keeping you here, feel the gravity. And also become aware of that upward force or lifting force through the torso, levity, lifting you up. And then from there, we're gonna open the torso towards the right, arms out wide, palms open, as if you're holding two dishes of water. So it's kind of a twisted warrior two, palms up. Inhale, exhale, one more breath here, inhale, exhale, turn the right arm forward next to the left, turn the shoulders forward again, keep the legs strong and then circle the left arm behind you, drawing your back heel to the floor, to the mat, and then come to a simple basic warrior two, just keeping your body in the middle to stay steady, centered, pressing the legs down, the crown of the head up, gazing over the right fingertips, and keep your hands reaching front and back. Inhale, exhale. Hey guys. Slowly from here, straighten the front leg, reach forward, and then side tail the pelvis, bring the right foot just below the knee or a little lower onto the shin and the left arm up. Three Konasana from here, spreading left fingertips up to the sky, drawing the left shoulder back to the right foot. Now add a little side stretch to the ears, and the your head, and feel the lateral stretch on the left side of the body, livening that left side. 
left arm down, lift all the way up, and then turn the right foot in, so the feet are now parallel to the short edges of your mat. Keep your arms wide out and just draw forward, keeping the legs strong, upper body nice and long, crown of the head reaching, keep the arms and engage the belly here, just a gentle mula bandha pelvic floor muscles contract, pull the belly slightly in, keep that energy contained and stay breathing, inhale, exhale, now we change the form of the body of the container but the vessel of breath stays the same, the breath stays even and steady throughout the practice, slowly from here bring the hands down under your shoulders, halfway lift to a flat back, and then walk the hands over towards your left foot, holding on to the outer left ankle. Lengthen out the spine first and stay there if this is already a big stretch for you. If you want more, you could fold in a little deeper over the left leg. Stay breathing. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Now we're going to gently turn to the back of your mat. Turn the left foot in and bring both hands inside of the left foot as you draw your right knee down. Stay there in that dragon posture, stretching the front body up and open, lift the heart. And then when you're ready, stay here with the hands or just simply draw onto your elbows, releasing the forehead, the neck, the head, chest. the breath even as you stay here for three more full breaths. Every out breath giving you a little more release, a little more opening some space into those tight places. Keep your elbows to the floor as you tuck your back toes under and lift the back knee. And then when you're ready, just step your left foot next to the right foot onto a forearm plank. Engage the core, zip up your belly. Keep that long line of energy from the heels all the way to the crown of the head. Stay there for a couple of breaths. Just a little core work, so important for the health of our body, the way we move. We do it from the center. We stay centered in our mind. healthy way of being. Walk your feet forward, keep your knees slightly bent, maybe the feet a little wider out in this pose, we call dolphin. Elbows stay down onto your mat and then begin to move, lengthen the spine up, move your shoulders away from the elbows, press down, keep your head off the ground, but let the neck be soft. Down dog on the forearms. And from here, just gently lower your knees all the way to your mat. Bring the hips to the heels. Take it down in child's pose. Take a moment just to release here, softening. Come back to your breath if you lost it. Then rise up onto the hands. Tuck the toes under, lift your hips up and back and lengthen out the spine. Downward dog. Left foot, breathe it up and back into the air behind you. Step left foot, uh, bend the knee and open the hip. And then stay there, take a one more breath here, maybe lifting the knee up a little higher. And straighten the left leg again. Left toes pointing down, hips even with control. Step the left foot forward into a lunge. Ground down again to the legs. When you're ready, rise up to a crescent lunge, arms and chest up. Inhale, shoulders down the back as you exhale. Inhale, exhale. Stay for one more breath. 
and then open the torso towards your left, arms out wide, palms open to the ceiling. Stretch the arms out, keep the legs strong and steady into that twisted warrior two, maybe even gazing over your right hand. forward next to the right shoulders forward hips forward as you exhale drop your back heel and circle the right arm behind you now gazing over the top of the left hand and forward centering in warrior two inhale exhale ground down a little deeper stay and breathe here keep the legs strong and feel that feeling of centering centeredness Reaching out from the center of your body to the ground, up to the left and to the right. Inhale. Exhale. Straighten the front legs slowly. Hinge at the hips, reach forward. Left hand down towards left chin bone and right arm up. Draw the right shoulder back. Draw the left hip under. Inhale. Exhale. Stay there for a breath. Trikonasana for your full stretch over the whole body. Every part of your body is reaching out from the center. And from here, lift gently up. Turn the left foot in. Interlace the fingers behind your back and stretch the front body up and open. Slowly from there, just draw forward and take the arms overhead, soften the crown of the head down towards the floor. Keep the legs strong and steady though. And take three full breaths here for a gentle stretch in the shoulders. Soften the neck and the head, the expression in your face. And then slowly from here, release your arms under your shoulders, halfway lift to a flat back. And walk the hands over towards the front foot again, holding on to the outer right ankle. Lengthen out the spine, lift the heart. When you're ready, fold a little deeper in release. Stay there for, let's say, two more breaths. And then turn forward to a lunge. Bring both hands on the inside of the right foot. Drop your left shoulder down. Press the left hand to the ground. And lift up into a dragon. Both fingertips, both hands, fingertips to the ground. From here, lower onto the elbows. Release the torso, the neck, the head. Soften the face. Deep stretch in the inner right thigh allowing energy to move freely again where it was stuck. And then tuck your back toes under, keep the elbows down pressing to the ground, lift the back knee, straighten the back leg. Step the right foot just next to the left foot, forearm plank one more time, just stay there for one more breath before we slowly lower the hips towards the floor. Draw yourself onto your chest, forehead to the ground, hands on top of each other, just on top of the sacrum, palms lifting up. Stay there for a breath. On the next inhale, slowly circle the right arm forward and lift the chest off the ground, back of the neck long. Exhale, right arm back on top of the left of the sacrum. Inhale, left arm sweeps forward, lift the chest up. Exhale, left arm sweeps back. Chest lowers down. Mm. Right arm forward, lift the left leg as well. Exhale, right arm back, look to the left side, drawn to the right cheek. Inhale, left arm forward, right leg lifts up. Exhale, left arm back, and look to the right. One more round, inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale, look to the left. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, look to the right. And then release, arms alongside, 
Rest the shoulders. Take the head to the other side. Onto the right cheek. Hands next to shoulders. Gently lift up. All fours. For a moment, draw into child's pose. Walk the fingertips forward and lengthen out the spine. Folding forward and in, releasing the torso and the forehead towards the ground. Deep breaths in, slow breaths out. Walk the hands towards your knees. Knees a little closer, a moment here in Padrasana. Thunderbolt pose. Find your breath. Soften the shoulders, the upper body. And take it forward to all fours again. And then bring your ankles on top of each other. Sit back. Wow, wind starts to pick up even more but we're staying calm and centered in the midst of this blowing wind. So bring the shin bones parallel, feet under the knees, back to Sukhasana, easy pose. Hands out onto the knees, lengthen out the back of the body, the spine. We're gonna slowly move towards the end of the practice with a couple of twists and a forward fold. This one's called Sukhasana. And it's going to be an easy Sukhasana. We're going to bring the right hand to the left foot or the, le uh, or the knee. And we're going to take the left arm up. I'll mirror you, of course. And then we're going to spin the chest open towards the left side, bringing the left hand behind your back. Lengthen out the back of your body. Lift the spine and then draw your left shoulder back a little more. Stay and breathe here for a moment. Just feel the right position for your body into that twist and then hold the twist in the shoulder. Just gently bring your gaze forward and then slowly close the eyes and fix your attention towards the third eye. Keep the twist going into the torso as you breathe in, lengthen. As you breathe out, soften. Keep your awareness pulled to that point in between the eyebrows. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Can you stay calm and centered in the midst of the turbulence? Staying calm and peaceful, at ease in the midst of the hurricane. Draw forward again. Release for a moment in the neutral position, Sukhasana. And then slowly, just uh, change the position of the legs. Now the right leg in front of the left. From here, bring your left hand towards your right foot or left knee. Take the left, uh, the right arm up, and then draw the chest towards the right side. Right hand behind your back. Find length into the upper body. Lift, and when you're ready, just draw your right shoulder back. Now find just the right position for your body. Not too much. Not too little. And if you found it, hold it, commit to that, and just bring the gaze forward. Lengthen out again, close the eyes, and pull your attention towards the third eye.
stay in the twist, stay focused and centered. And release again, coming back to the middle. Slowly draw your legs forward in front of you. One last forward fold here, stretching the legs out, hands behind you, keep that length in the back, inhale the arms up. As you exhale, slowly fold forward, long spine, and see where the arms go, maybe outer knees, ankle or feet, doesn't matter. It's never about how deep we go into the posture, it's about who we are when we come down, when we fold forward, soften the neck, the head, the face, maybe lengthen out to the front body once more and then draw your chest even deeper if you like or just stay where you are and breathe. And release again, slide the hands over the shin bones. From here, we can roll ourselves onto our back. Soften the torso down, recline onto your spine. Rest, take the head back. Take the arms out wide. Now for a moment, bring the soles of the feet together to end with a short pranayama practice. We're gonna breathe in for four, we're gonna breathe out for eight counts, and we're gonna hold out the breath for another four counts. Exhale all the air, slowly inhale for four, two, three, four. Exhale out for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, holding out the breath, stay empty for four, two, three, four. One more round, inhale for four, two, three, four. Exhale for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, holding out the breath, kumbaka, stay empty. Resume your natural cycle of breath. Stretch the legs in front of you. Let the feet fall up. Anything you like to get in place for your last posture, Shavasana, make it happen. And then let the breath freely run in and out of your body as if something outside of you were breathing you something that's bigger than your body, bigger than your mind, bigger than yourself. And then as long as you like in Shavasana, just bathe into your own inner tranquility. In your home, finding center finding peace and stillness. Namaste. Every one of us is an aperture through which the whole cosmos looks out. You see, it's as if you had a light covered with a black ball and in this ball were pinholes and each pinhole is an aperture through which the light comes out so in that way every one of us is actually a pinhole through which the fundamental light that is the existence itself looks out only the game we're playing is uh, not to know this You evoke light out of the universe. In the same way, you, by virtue of having a soft skin, evoke hardness out of wood. Wood is only hard in relation to a soft skin. It's your eardrum that evokes noise out of the air. 
You, by being this organism, call into being the whole universe of light and color and hardness and heaviness and everything. You see? Therefore, that what you call the external world is as much you as your own body. Your skin doesn't separate you from the world, it's a bridge through which the external world flows into you and you flow into it. Just, for example, as a whirlpool in water, you could say because you have a skin, you have a definite shape, you have a definite form, all right? Here is a, a flow of water and it suddenly, it does a whirlpool. And then it goes on. The whirlpool is a definite form, but no water stays put in it. The whirlpool is something the stream is doing. And exactly the same way, the whole universe is doing each one of us. And I see you today, and I recognize you tomorrow. Just as I would recognize a whirlpool in a stream. The whole world is moving through you. All the cosmic rays, all the food you're eating, the stream of steaks and milk and uh, eggs and... Uh, uh, everything is just flowing right through you. When you're wiggling the same way, the world is wiggling, the stream is wiggling you. And we are, I think, quite urgently in need of coming to feel that we are the eternal universe, each one of us.